Hi viewers, I'm Nadim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Oh, welcome to the Faruq Academy. Today we will discuss chapter number three, exercise three C, book D three, linear inequalities. Question number one. Read the statement. In two thousand four, nearly twenty four thousand students in Singapore receive uh, educative merit scholarship award, uh, ranging from dollar two fifty uh, for a primary people to a uh, dollar 500 for a secondary pupil these awards were given to the top 10% of the pupils from each school six of mr matthews uh, grandchildren received so okay after reading the statement first of all the how can we write the data smallest amount paid that is first of all you how to write uh, as that is smallest amount smallest amount paid that is dollar 250 to the six students so multiply by six you will get dollar 1500 is your required result similarly the greatest amount paid uh, the greatest Amount paid is equal to that is five hundred dollar multiply by uh, six, so you will get dollar three thousand. So that is the required result. Now coming to the question number two. In December nineteen ninety eight, the Singapore Buddhist Lodge donated dollar fifteen thousand and fifty. Bursary is worth between dollar two fifty and dollar three fifty each to uh, uh, Jamia. So the Muslims Missionary Society of Singapore. What is the maximum and minimum possible amount? Okay, the uh, you have to write. You can see here mm, question number two. Question number two: Buddhist lodge donated dollar one five triple zero fifteen thousand. So fifty bursaries worth that is equal to. Dollar two fifty. Uh, so multiplied. So two fifty. Uh, so fifty bursaries worth. So each is two fifty. So multiply by fifty. Uh, you will get one two five double zero dollar. So total. For this donation, that is, uh, you can say the minimum. So, uh, total for Buddhist uh, donation, that is a uh, minimum uh, dollar fifteen uh, thousand. Plus one two five double zero. So by adding, you will get dollar two seven five double zero. So that is your required result. Now uh, we have to find for the maximum. That is now Buddhist lodge donated dollar. Uh, now uh, Buddhist uh, lodge uh, donated. Dollar fifteen thousand. So multiply by so fifty bursaries. You can write as fifty bursaries. Uh, that is equal to each is dollar three fifty. Multiply by fifty, uh, you will get one seven five double zero. So that is your dollars. 
uh, unit 10 hundred thousand ten thousand seventeen thousand five hundred dollar so the total lodge donated so it is the maximum value so you can see here you can see here Uh, total lodge uh, that is donation how much donated that is your maximum max value dollar one seven five double zero plus fifteen thousand so you will get a uh, dollar three two five double zero so that is your required result now coming to the uh, question number three in question number three if you read the statement the youngest member of the extended limb family is five years old and the eldest is 78 what are the possible ages of the other members of the limbs family okay you can see question number three So let the ages x years uh, age of youngest member age of youngest members is equal to five years mm, and the seventy eight years that is age of eldest that is age of eldest. eldest member so that is 78 years so how can we write therefore it can be written as that x is less than 78 but it is greater than 5 years so uh, x is greater than 5 years so you can write as so that is your required result now coming to the uh, question number 4 In question number four, read the statement. The perimeter of a square is not more than 80 centimeter. What is the largest possible area of the square? So, perimeter of a square. Perimeter uh, of a square that is equal to 80 centimeter it is given that not less than so it means less or equal so you can write as less or equal so uh, we are well familiar to this fact that as the perimeter p is equal to four sides of a square that is your formula 4l if we need the l so what should we do therefore the l is equal to uh, perimeter divided by 4 so uh, hence mm, we have to find its length uh, that is we need length length is equal to 80 divided by 4 so the length is 20 centimeter so we have been asked that we have to find the area of a square therefore area of a square area of a square uh, that is equal to that is uh, less or equal to less or equal to 20 whole square so that is l square but we have a formula that is uh, the value of l so we can write as uh, for better understanding that is l square so putting the values that is 20 square so uh, you will get 400 uh, centimeter square so that is your required result now coming to the question number five In question number five, read the statement. John and Elwin intend to buy a birthday present for Coral. They decided uh, that the cost of the present should not be more than dollar twenty, and the, the Johnny will pay dollar two more than Elwin. What is the maximum amount of the Elwin has to pay? Okay, uh, in question number five you can see so the amount of l1 has to pay that is x 
amount uh, of L1 uh, that is uh, has to pay uh, that is equal to for example dollar x but Johnny has to pay only dollar two more that is x plus two Johnny payment uh, has to pay that is x plus two so therefore by given condition you can write as x plus both will pay not less than 20 so you can write as so 2x plus 2 less or equal to 20 less or equal to 20 minus 2 uh, that is 2x so the value of 2x is 18 so the value of x is less or equal 18 by 2 so the value of x is less or equal to 9 so 9 is your required result now coming to the question number 6 Ali scored 74.82 and 60 for 3 of his mathematics tests what is the lowest mark he must score for his fourth test if he aims to achieve an average of at least 78 for the four tests so once again by the same methodology you should apply here in question number 6 that is the inequalities problems so once again recall the inequalities in your mind that is question number six let x be the marks that Ali have to score let x be the marks that Ali have to score so then therefore you can write 78 plus 82 plus 60 plus x unknown value divided by 4 greater or equal to 78 because it is your given condition so by simplification uh, you will get greater or equal to 78 so by using cross multiplication and you will get 216 plus x greater or equal to 312 by using cross multiplication you should be 4 multiplied with 78 you will get 312 so now the value of x is greater 312 minus 216 so the value of x is mm, greater or equal to 96 so 96 is your required result now coming to the question number 7 in question number 7 read the statement a mathematics competition consists of 30 multiple choice questions four marks are awarded for a correct answer while one mark is deducted for a wrong answer no marks will be awarded or deducted for questions not attempted a student skipped three questions and had a score of more than 44 find the minimum number of correct answer obtained okay question number seven in question number seven let x be the minimum number then wrong answer let x be the be the correct minimum number then wrong answer then wrong answer equal to 30 minus 3 minus x is equal to 27 minus x so that is your given condition so therefore 4x minus 27 minus x greater or equal to 44 so we have shifted here and this term is shifted here that is your uh, 
uh, you can see here uh, we have shifted uh, that is your mm, given condition therefore you can write as 27 minus x is the wrong answer so it should be minus you will get 30 minus 3 means 3 wrong answer so you will get 27 so this implies that it will give you 27 because uh, by simplification uh, 30 minus 3 you will get 27 and x so the exact given condition is that is 4x minus 27 that will be your given condition so greater or equal to 44 now you have to solve this that is 4x minus 27 plus x greater or equal to 44 it will give you uh, that is uh, 5x greater or equal to 44 plus 27 uh, you will get 71 but we need the value of x that is 71 divided by 5 so you will get the value of x is 14.2 so that is your required result the correct minimum answers that is x is equal to because we have supposed that x is the minimum uh, correct number of answers so here is your result now coming to the last question question number eight honey and sami shared a business venture with an initial capital of not more than dollar sixty thousand if Ghani put in dollar uh, five thousand more than Sami what is the maximum amount that Sami invested okay question number eight question number eight let Sami invested let Sami invested dollar x and Ghani invested dollar x plus 5000 so now by given condition you can write x plus x plus 5000 Ghani and Sami not less than 60,000 is the amount so 2x 5,000 that is your 5,000 so less or equal to that is your 60,000 so 2x less or equal to 60,000 minus 5,000 you will get 55,000 we need the value of x that is 55,000 divided by 2 you will get the value of x is 27,500 so that is your required result so by the grace of God we have completed uh, exercise 3c of book d3 I hope that it will be helpful to you for better understanding. So thanks a lot. Thank you for watching.